John here guys and today we're talking about a couple of new products from Toolkit RC. This is the ultra tiny M7 charger. This is a full-fledged balancing charger charge it, charge it. Wait, jump in the ring and it. that can do 10 amps up to 6s and uh, it's just really nice to have in your pack as a travel charger. It can easily fit in a breast pocket or in any bag. Um, yes, I like to have my Hota charger, my full duo, which is actually fairly compact. But if that thing goes out at an event, you're in trouble. You need to be able to charge. So having one of these inexpensive options as a backup could be the difference between you sitting on the sidelines or staying in the game. Or if you're just getting started and a sub $40 charger is interesting to you, this is full fledged, it can do it. Don't buy one of these 30 or 40 or $50 four button old stall chargers that don't do proper cell balancing. Don't buy something like this um, IMAX B6. Yes, they were great five, six years ago in the hobby, but they don't balance as well. This one has the new style features. Yes, you do have to supply your own power supply for this. So keep that in mind. So save a little bit on your budget to be able to buy that external power supply. You can also supply battery with this with a large field charging pack or um, anything of that nature. Um, really nice. It has the traditional functions. It's like the Toolkit RC menu style, which is similar to ISGT, but it just has like a different kind of a GUI. The other thing that they've come out with is this, which is um, a desktop power supply. Now, in the pictures, it actually looks kind of big, but if you look at it, it's really not that bigger, that much bigger than this tiny little charger. Um, so this would sit on your bench and then you would have like these little alligator clips that you plug in and that allows you to supply out whatever type of power. So if you were testing components and you wanted to supply five volt to it without having to like wire in a flight controller and get a LiPo and all that stuff, you could do that bench testing and development and repair with something like this. So this is not gonna be for the entire FPV community, but for those electronics gurus that wanna dive deeper, having this combo available to you is really going to give you every option. The other cool thing that it does is it has a USB-C output. So you can actually output the same amount of power. Over here you have your amps and voltage control so you can provide you can provide output at a variety of different power levels. So if you're into troubleshooting at a higher level than a lot of us or if you're into tinkering or doing your own testing. The other thing that I've heard people do with these is they do like metal plating because you can specify a very specific power output. So if you were gonna do like um, that electromagnetizing, you know, plating kind of stuff, this would another be a really good option for that as well. You know, back in the day when I worked in a robotics lab, we had power supplies that would supply power to soldering irons or other different devices in the, in the little lab that we worked in. And those things were like thousands of dollars. This thing is under a hundred bucks. So not for everybody, but if you do have the need, it comes with your standard power cord. So you can just leave this on your bench and whenever you need it, flip it on and get to action. It also has an XT60 for power output if you ever needed something like this in the field. And here is the little power adapter out there. You could even connect it to like a set of jumper cables or something like that. I don't know why you would ever need to do that type of testing in the field, but it's possible. What do you think in the comments, guys? What are you using? Leave me a comment in the comments below what you're using for your primary charger. And do you have a backup charger? Those HOTAs, uh, I still recommend that as the best charger, but they're 120 bucks. And if yours dies or something happens or you leave it somewhere, heaven forbid, what are you going to do? Having one of these just sitting around just in case can be the difference between you going home without flying. Thanks, guys.